Yo, 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 what's good, guys? It's Vilify here. Uh, today, we're going to be doing the August uh, 2022 Dokkan Battlefield. Uh, this is going to be the fight versus uh, Broly. So if you've had any familiarity with that one, you kind of know how it goes. Uh, rather than do like the whole like 30 to 40 minute play session that this is going to be, I'm just going to show you the team I do and come back when we're about to get the win. So <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and make this a little bit quicker, and then we will do the entire Broly fight and then kind of call it a video there. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I don't think there's any new units that I need to throw in for this specific video. Um, I'd have to look because we do have some easy A's coming up, but you know, obviously I haven't gotten to that point yet. But I think that the way the box is looking at the moment, uh, I think I have everything in here that I need uh, to kind of get this done. Uh, we know that Broly is super AGL, or not super AGL, but extreme, um, extreme STR rather. We're going to be using uh, AGL in the fight against him. So... Like I said, I think everything is set up pretty well here. Uh, we don't need to change much. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop in. And if I see that I, if I notice anything that I should have brought, then so be it, right? But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so first fight. Uh, this one is super easy. We're just gonna bring a couple fodder extreme AGL units and I'll be back when we are ready to win. So let's go ahead and pop some, where are you guys at? Let's go ahead and bring, just units that I know I'm not gonna use in the next fight. Uh, we'll bring, Hmm. You, you, um, and you. That's I, honestly, I think that's all we need to beat Chao Tzu. So uh, I'll be back when we get the win uh, after we go ahead and uh, you know get started with this team. So I'll be right back, guys. All right. So Chao Tzu is a bit of a nuisance and stunned my Meki Kabura. So uh, we might have to go a little bit deeper on this one than we want to. Uh, we shall see, though. Don't. He did it again. Oh my god. All right, Chao Tzu. I see you, bro. <laughs> I might have to just bring a real team. <laughs> Alright, we gotta pray he doesn't super. Oh, ow. Oh, yeah, we're dead. Alright, quick blooper. Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, so this run, I think, has the makings of a successful one. Uh, we had a little bit of a uh, oopsie there with um, him just locking units in the wrong spot and stunning people, so it happens, right? Um... Didn't feel like bringing a full-on AGL team. Uh, just, I want to save as many units for Broly as possible. So we can just kind of use, like, the bad extreme team and then kind of go in with the super team after he's a little bit buttered up. So, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next phase. Which, uh, which fight? Is this GT Goku? Or is that the next phase? It's the next one. Alright, so copy Vegeta. Uh, extreme physical. Should be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, let's go ahead and do extreme fizz. So we want Cell as a lead. Uh, we'll bring Cooler as the other lead. Well, who's better? You are 120. You are 130. Okay, there you go. All right, so I'll be right back when we have the win. All right, so I think there's a decent chance that we just go ahead and one turn this, so there doesn't need to be much of a cut. But here you can see we got Golden Frieza going, we got Janemba going, we're ready to go, right? Like, there's um, this should be a pretty solid rotation. Yeah, yeah, two, three, three mil, and then, you know, Janemba's gonna hit for, like, 1.5 or something like that, and then Omega's gonna do his super or whatever. Yeah, we're ready to go, so let's just go ahead and leave this in. Uh, yeah, five mil. Oh, yeah, all right, see you, buddy. <laughs> I had a feeling. All right. Yeah, so, obviously, you know, Battlefield is kind of in those one of those spots where it's not too bad, but this Broly fight can be a little bit intimidating, especially considering, like, uh, you kind of gotta have some things go in your favor, especially in the last, like, level three is just so annoying because it's not like, um... Bosses are necessarily difficult, but they can dodge, but they can have their attack lowered this time around, so it is a little bit different. Uh, but he here you guys go. That's level one. Let's go ahead and go into level two. Uh, and let's see. Let's go ahead and take out the Mecha Frieza. So, you know, extreme int. Uh, let's go ahead and look. Obviously, we're going to be using LR Zamasu and all that, but... Alright, so we'll use you. We'll use you. We'll use you for the absorption. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Boom. Alright, perfect. Uh... Yeah, all right, yeah, we'll go ahead and rock with this, and I'll be back when we have the win. I keep making cuts, but I have a feeling that we're just going to straight up one turn this, so uh, let's go ahead and keep this in. Uh, you know, Vegeta's going to hit pretty hard, and then we have Fusamasu on the end. Uh, we keep just getting really good turn one, so, you yeah. know, level three will definitely be like on turn two or turn three, but on these ones, it might just be a straight up one turn for all of them. So we got to go ahead and leave everything in. But, you know, you're not missing too much. You're just kind of missing the, the fodder points where I just don't have much to say. <laughs> so let's go ahead and slap this bad boy up. If Broly triple or quadruple supers, we'll be on to the next phase before you know it. Yep. All right. See you later. <laughs> All right. So now we have the fight against, uh, is it Tapion? 
Yep. All right. So extreme tech, Android, let's go brr. You guys know how this works. Um, boom, 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 uh, boom, 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 and bam. All right. So we'll be right back when we get the win. All right. All right uh, this might be the last attack that we need. We'll see. Yep. All right. So I managed to sneak it in just at the end there. That was a quick one turn victory. Uh, the androids were on turn one, had a bunch of orbs, so you know how that goes. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the boss fight, which is against GT Goku. So if I had to guess, this one is Extreme STR. Uh, not the best part of my box, unfortunately, but, you know, we can definitely get it done with the setup that we have. Uh, we'll go ahead and use you and you and you. We'll bring you guys for the guard. We'll bring Jace to have a Ginyu Force ally. Uh, then we'll bring you and you. Alright, perfect. I think this will work out just fine. You can see the HP is significantly lower on this one compared to my other teams, but we'll make it work, right? Uh, decent opening rotation. We'll just go ahead and throw a Raccoon and Burger, or a Raccoon and Goldo in slot one, but uh, like I said, I'll be back when we uh, finish this up. Alright, so we have a pretty damaging rotation right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this part in as we'll probably win here on this turn. Uh, you can see that we uh, did take a little bit of damage. Raccoon and Goldo did not have their guard, so they took a lot more than I had anticipated, but you know, we made it work. And then we have a really good link partner for Charles with STR Cooler, so now we can go ahead and do this damage. Uh, an additional isn't guaranteed, but if we get an additional with this guy, we are probably out of here. So we shall see. Alright, boom. Alright, and 2.8 mil, and then we also get the extra key fighting a super class enemy with Frieza being in slot 3, so he will do his 18 key as well. And that's going to be a lot of damage, and we'll be right up on out of here. Oh, we're going to get a 24 key, for, uh, 24 key with Frieza, so. Yeah, that'll be the end for this one. Alright, ow. <laughs> Yep, and 6 mil right there from Frieza, essentially, so let's go ahead and move on to the next fight. Uh, we're on to level 3, by the way, now, so things are going to get a little bit more uh, intense, but, you know, nothing I can't handle, I'm sure. Alright, that's level 2. Let's go ahead and move on to level 3. Come on, there we go. All right, we'll just go uh, left to right. So we'll start with uh, Gohan. Let's go ahead and bring our super physical team. That's, that's extreme. Um, so you got to be specific with how you do this one, right? Um, make sure we bring both of our physical leaders. Uh, Bardock is really valuable in here because he seals, and so does Roshi on his 18 key. Uh, and then we'll bring you, you, and you. I think that's kind of the best way to go about it. So let's go ahead and rock in, and I'll be back when we have the win. All right, so we are having terrible luck uh, on that last turn. Uh, he dodged like all the super attacks, so now we're um, most likely going to be getting the uh, revival right here with our boy uh, Bar um, Roshi. So that just shows you how the luck has been going on this specific run. So you know, it, I, I I can't stand the idea that you have to be able you can dodge like the bosses can just dodge you in this level three because there's no counter to a dodge, right? You know, like there's no enemies that just disable dodging, right? Like look what he's doing. He just took the seal away, so now we're probably gonna die, right? Like. That's, that's all he's doing. He's just dodging my attacks. Like, it, it's not like, um... And he's hitting really hard, too, by the way. So, now we do have Roshi, who is going to get the seal, unless, you know, he wants to dodge this. But, uh, go ahead and take us out, and we will get the revival here, and everything will be okay. Um, figured I would just stop in real quick just to show you that this is kind of the BS that we are going through on this specific run. So, uh, we'll go ahead... If this isn't the end, we'll go ahead and do the Super Safe 4 Gogeta Act of Scale and get up on out of here. No, all right, yeah. See ya, buddy. Just so dumb. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. It, it's just, it, overall, it's just stupid. Like, this should have been done in two turns. Instead, it took us four. Like, all right, bye. <laughs> he just dodges so much, and I don't know why he does. But, all right, that's Gohan done. So let's go ahead and move on to the Bojack phase. Uh, what color is he? He is green, so we're going to be using... Uh, our super int team, a little bit less ceiling on this side, but we do have a, uh, a valuable weapon. I, I don't know if he, he just stand, he just jumps off the page right away, but you know, I think you guys see him, right? Like uh, they are going to be our bread and butter, but this is the team that we're gonna go ahead and rock with. Uh, yeah, I like it just like this. Okay, let's go ahead and run it like this, and then we have a couple backup options, and we'll see uh, how it goes from there. So I'll be back when we do end up getting the win on this specific turn. All right, so if everything goes in our favor here, we are going to go ahead and get the win on this turn. We have Bojack sealed, so we have nothing to worry about in terms of damage uh, and all that fun stuff. So, uh, you know, let's let Trunks and Vegeta kind of do their thing. Get a decent amount of damage in here. Go ahead and give me an additional. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, it looks good so far. Let's go ahead and slap this bad boy up. Crit. There we go. Yeah, 55%, by the way. 
Are they good? I can't tell. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, I'm a big fan of these guys. All right, come on, good uh, Vegito. Show me what you got. You oh so amazing, easy A. Yeah. All right, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy to bed. All right, there we go. So we are on to the third fight in level three after this super attack right here. Kamehameha. Ba ba boom. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so we are now into the fight versus Go Tanks. We're going to be using Super Tech. Um, hmm. I think this team is going to do really well in here. So, like I said, uh, let me go ahead and slap this up real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, quick note. The dodging is super, super cool. Uh, you know, Tech Guy Goku in slot one for the seal. No, you're not allowed to have that. We got to go ahead and deal with now potentially taking a super attack on this turn. You know, just nothing can end up going in our favor, but, you know, this is where we're at. Uh, you can see we're doing fine, but, you know, that dodge was annoying. So, I'll be back when, uh, you know, after Tech Gohan takes the super and whatnot. So, I'll be back. Another quick example of the very, very fun uh, stage here. Uh, two units that could afford to take a super didn't take it, so let's go ahead and watch Kale and Khalifa take it. Pause. Okay, so uh, turn three, you guys have seen a little bit of action from each turn here, but uh, unless we just get super, super unlucky with the dodging, this will be the last turn here with Tech Gogeta getting the supers. Um, Really unlucky uh, break here that we've gotten throughout this whole thing, but we'll make it work, right? Uh, it, it's just like, um, it's not that even that it's difficult. It's just an inconvenience that we got to make this run longer than it needs to. Just because, you know, he's dodging. He's doing it again, right? Like, look at this. Like, we, we could easily be out of here, right? And he's dodged so many of my super damaging attacks. So, uh, we're, we're having a great time, as you can see. Uh, it's, it's, it's just, uh, you know, sometimes you just get unlucky like this. So, we'll go ahead and do the guy's active skill real quick, and we'll get up on out of here. Come on. It, it, it's just, I don't know. We kept him seal locked and whatnot, so it, or not even seal locked, but we got him, finally got him sealed, and then it doesn't even matter, right? I, I think that's just the break that you get in this sometimes. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the last fight in this specific run. I think this is Super Boo. Uh, yeah, so Super STR should be pretty self explanatory. Let's go ahead and build the team. Uh, we obviously are going to use you, and then we need the other 120%, which is you. We'll do. Um. We'll bring UI Goku, we'll bring Whis for the ceiling. Uh, we'll bring you for the healing, just in case we need it. Uh, guaranteed crits. Uh, and then guard chance, we'll go ahead and bring you. Alright, perfect. Alright, I'll be right back when we get the win. Okay, so real quick, just in case uh, this uh, Super uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta attack stat does a ton, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look. Yeah, that's 5.1 mil. If this crits or something, we might just be out of here straight up. So I want to go ahead and keep this in just in case. Uh, but we will definitely be done on the next turn. Uh, yeah, so we will definitely be here next turn, so I'll be right back. Okay, so barring any, uh, colossal mess-ups here, this should be the last turn that we have. Uh, we're obviously using Whis to go ahead and get that seal going. Uh, but, uh, obviously our boy Super Boo had other plans, so, um, again, dodging, just making this a super fun experience that's totally in my control. I'm not, I'm, I'm just making all the wrong plays, right? It's just a huge skill issue, so. Yeah, this is going about right. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Now Super Boo gets the heal at the end, isn't that cool? Aha, thank you Goku. I appreciate that. Alright, so now it's Broly time, so the cutting shenanigans hour. Alright, so, um, future me here. <laughs> um, the extreme class run on my original one was so bad, and then the super class one was not much better, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take you to the future. Uh, this is about, you know, I'm recording this at like 10 in the morning, right? So this was about 6 hours ago, but uh, <clears throat> you can see that, like, the thing with Broly, right, is that you can kind of, like, nerf him with attack lowering and uh, ceiling and stuff like that. And we just got, like, just the worst possible opening rotation, right? Just with, uh, just no, uh, no super for two of the units on there. And then, you know, we can't even get the 18 key to raise the defense on Frieza. So, almost no matter how you split it, we're dead, right? So, it's like, let's just try to get as much damage in and before he does that guaranteed super in slot two. Because that's where, if you guys don't know, that's where the super is every time. So, um... 
you know, you kind of got to work around that. But, you know, Frieza did dodge the AoE. And then, you know, Majin Vegeta and uh, Ginyu didn't take too, too much. But you guys can just see, like, we just got terrible luck right here. So uh, we kind of had to work around that, right? Um, but you can see right here, Ginyu's going to take, like, 400-something K. But the super class run that we have for this in specific, it looks much, much better, right? Like, we have... Um, there's a couple units in here that just kind of make this so easy, right? Like, uh, what you want to do with Broly is keep him seal locked, right? Like, because, you know, it's like you're playing, it's almost like you're playing SBR, right? Where you just want to keep the unit st stun locked, but instead you're using seals and attack lowering and stuff like that. So what we were kind of thinking was, let, let me try and bring as many units as I can. Uh, let, let's find a balance of, like, power creep as well as, um, like, utility. So MUI, Super Saiyan 4, like, those two are there to do all the damage. And then everybody else is chilling in there is here to just, like, dodge, do damage, seal, not do damage, like, seal, lower attack, lower defense, just kind of make Broly as, as like, effective, like, as useless as possible, right? So, with the Rainbow Orb changing for uh, Super Saiyan Goku, you're basically just guaranteed to, like, kind of get rid of some of the issues, right? So, we're gonna get the AT key with every single unit on the team right here, um, or on, the, on this rotation, so we're gonna do a lot of damage. Like, 3.3 million is not great from Spirit Bombs Orb Goku, but it's not the damage, it's the ceiling, it's the attack lowering, it's the defense lowering, it's just everything he's doing right there is just kind of what makes him useful, right? So, we get the additional, which is a defensive race for Namek Goku, Namek Goku, for Spirit Bombs Orb Goku, but it doesn't really matter, right? Like, we've already, he's already done his job with the attack lowering and the seal, so now we just got 7k after the, like, you can just see the difference, right? Like, double digits after the attack lowering, essentially, so... Now we have the 50% chance to crit, and then if we do get an additional UI Goku's built with 30 additional, um, we should be able to like kind of just like tear this up, right? Um, yeah, there we go. 2.8, not bad. Um, yeah, I I'm saying this like I'm live reacting to it. So yeah, we, we get the um, we do have a guaranteed uh, yeah right there. So boom, two crits, dodges, and then we got a 5.5 million attack stat. So you guys can see that this is going really well. Uh, and then on the next rotation, we have more attack lowering and defense lowering that we're going to get from Tapion. So that's kind of the plan, right? So more defense lowering right there from Super Saiyan 4 Goku and 8 million damage. Like you can see, we got Broly right where we want him. So uh, Fit Boo, uh, you know, wh what's really important right here actually is that Broly is still sealed. So, you know, the problem that we are going to have, like I said, is like that the super would, it would absolutely kill Fit Boo if he didn't dodge it. But uh, we don't have to worry about that because Tapion's going to get that attack lowering right there. So his attack's already been lowered twice. Right, and then we're going to have Namek Goku, uh, I keep saying Namek Goku, but Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, uh, go ahead and lower that attack again. So, you know, we're going to just find to the point where it's like, what can he even do, right? Like, he's just he's just taking so, so much uh, attack lowering, like, what is he supposed to do, right? Like, he it, just, he, he could try and hurt us, but it's not going to work. So, it, it's it's just like one of those things where you just kind of got to get a little bit lucky and have RNG play in your favor, but after that, and you kind of get past the... Uh, the, pro, the metaphorical hump here, right, of, like, just him being able to do any damage, that's just how you go ahead and slap it up. So, let me know what you guys think of the uh, kind of format that I've done here, where it's, like, uh, rather than, um, what's the word? Um, I'm sorry. So, rather than the, uh, like, watching the whole entire thing uh, of me playing it, it's, like, kind of cut up, and, you know, it's, like, here's who I used, here's the win I got. And then, you know, for the Broly fight, we'll go ahead and do the whole thing, because otherwise it'd be like a three-minute video, right? So, I think this might be the more uh, more fun way to go about it, because it's just a quicker video, um, you know, and it's not as long to sit through, and you don't have to sit through 45 minutes of me trying to talk about Battlefield. You get to see, like, the highlights, the lowlights, the oopsies, the whatnot, but, I, like, if I include the Broly fight twice, the video is just going to be too long, and there's no points. So that's why I went ahead and recut it and kind of did this, but... Uh, you see we are coming up here on the end. Uh, if Namek Goku, or I keep saying Namek Goku. If UI Goku does uh, triple super, we're out of here because this is a guaranteed crit. So if he does another one after this, we're done. But I don't believe he does because PyCon ends up getting the finishing blow. Uh, you know, his him and his amazing 1.7 mil. But I'm pretty sure this seals, lowers attack, and defense, right? Yeah, seals and lowers attack. That's all that matters. So, you know, right there he would have been seal lock going to the next turn and Tapion would have lowered his attack again. So you guys can see how we went ahead and tackled this beast of a Broly uh, fight, right? So... Uh, the second hardest Broly fight in the game, I guess we can call it, right? Right behind the red zone. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of the new format. This is all I got for you in today's video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the Dokkan content that I post as regularly as I can. Have a great day. I'm out.